What does Calgary's real estate market have to do with this picture? And where are we heading in 2023? Today, I'm going to share that with you, as well as my forecast for pricing for your real estate market in 2023. Hey, I'm Eric Mortimer, and I've been a real estate agent for over 22 years and also an investor even longer than that. And I'm now fortunate to be coaching agents all over North America. So I have a different perspective than many people may have. So what does it have to do with this picture? Well, if you look at it from this distance, many people will be seeing a skull. A skull often brings up thoughts of death or doom and gloom. So maybe that's what you're seeing inside of the news or social media. So first of all, don't believe everything that you see on social media. So looking at it like this, you may be seeing death and doom and gloom. But if you change your perspective, if we change the way we look at things, the way we look at things change. And that's a lot like the Calgary market. There's some things that are might be kind of scary for some people, unless you want things to decrease. And there are some things that are beautiful that are going to help prop up the market. And I'm going to share some of those with you as well as where I think we're going to go in 2023. So what are some of the skulls or some of the um, things putting downward pressure on our market? I'm going to share some of those with you now. So first off, at the forefront of most people's minds is interest rates. As I'm sure you heard, the Bank of Canada just raised interest rates another 25 basis points. Another thing that could be contributing to the skull or the, um, the downward pressure is um, further interest rate increases. The, we're expecting the Bank of Canada to uh, hold strong on interest rates and not to lighten up until 2024 because they really want to get inflation down. So inflation is fighting against us right now. It, uh, it's just over 8% and apparently it came down to 6% um, in December, but you know they want to see that down around the two or three mark. So there could be continuous pressure and people buy real estate based on their payments. So what about on the positive side? There are some great positive uh, news events as well happening in the area. For example, uh, the Havilland Canada announced that it's going to be having an aircraft manufacturing facility just outside of Calgary. The Economist also uh, rated Calgary as the number one city in North America, which is all contributing to our net migration. So our net migration is a number of people that are moving in to um, Calgary and Alberta versus moving out and we've had positive net migration. So the greater the demand, the greater the prices. So what does all this mean? It's going to depend on the, um, the price point that you're in in the Calgary market and also the style of home that you have. So let's break down the detached market. So the detached market in 2021 had an increase of 7.3. In 2022, an amazing jump of 14.4, which is uh, very strong, obviously, and with the peak hitting in May of 2022. Where do I think it's gonna go in 2023? I actually believe that we're going to have a slight decrease in 2023. And this is primarily because of the downward pressure on the higher priced uh, homes. So the lower priced homes are gonna to continue to be strong and actually get a premium as a result of the supply while there's gonna be pressure, downward pressure on the higher priced home. The semi-detached in 2021, 7.3. In 2022, 11.9. Where are they gonna go in 2023? I've got them as negative one. So a little bit, they're not quite as attractive to people as the fully detached, but they're, um, people still love that they don't have condo fees and they have some independence. Now rows, rows are again, often more affordable. These may or may not be condos. In 2021, 5.3, 2022, 14.8. And I think they're gonna stay flat in 2023. Now apartments, 
these have been the uh, uh, the redheaded stepchild in the real estate market for uh, for some time and they're catching up and they're taking over the family now so in 2021 1.4 8.6 in uh, 2022 and again because of the affordability i think they're actually going to have an increase of two percent in 2023 just because um, the downward pressure and people want ownership and they're going to have to move to apartments there you have it i hope that you found that helpful if you want some specific around your property because it's going to depend on your neighborhood it's going to depend on your style um, inside of each of these i'm always saying about averages your head can be in the oven and your feet in the freezer on average your temperatures are okay but either way you're dead so averages can be deceiving if you want more information about uh, uh, your property and what its value may be um, reach out to me 403-827-8081 or eric at ericmortimer.com have a fantastic day